Hello, happy crafters. Welcome back to Crafting with Janine. In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make what I'm going to call a folded puff bow using inch and a half ribbon. So we're going to jump in and get right to it. So what you're going to need is two pieces. Now you can do these either way. Print on the outside, solid on the inside, or the other. I'm doing it solid on the outside, print on the inside. So you're going to need two pieces cut to two and a half inches long, or, uh, I wrote it down, two and a half inches long, or 6.5 6 centimeters, sorry, I just slipped my mind there, and then you're going to need two pieces cut to eight inches long, or 20 centimeters, depending on which system you work with, so there's that, I'm doing mine, like I said, the solid on the outside print on the inside. Either way, it's two and two. If you're going to do a piggy set like I like to do them, you're going to need four of everything. So I'm going to slide that one off to the side, and we're going to jump right in. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take all of our pieces, and we're going to fold them. But we don't want a, a crease, so I'm not going to heat a whole crease, because the way this is, if I were to crease it, you'd have a line back here, and we don't want that. So what we're going to do is we're just going to fold it in half, but we're going to take our lighter, and we're just going to heat just one end of it, so that we do have a middle there, but it doesn't go all the way down. So we're going to do that for these. Just getting it all lined up. And just like that. So now, for my, this one's a double-sided print, but usually, for this bow... I want to fold my print to the inside, and you'll see why, and then I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm just going to heat that right there. So now that I have my print, because I want my print facing up, but now that I did that, that little crease deal will fit inside this little crease here. So I'm going to do that with this one as well. Just a little heat, and just like that. So now that I have that, and I'm going to stack them, and I get my creases lined up right here. You're also going to need three alligator clips. And this will help hold all your pieces together. So the first one I'm going to put on is I'm just going to put it right here in the middle. Maybe. I'm going to put that right in the middle. And then adjust it back because you want all your edges lined up here. So then, I'm right-handed, so I always work to my right first, but if you're left-handed and whatever, it doesn't matter which side you start with. This is just how I do it, because I'm right-handed. So I always start on the right. So we're going to take this side, and we're going to fold it down, so you have this look here. And then we're going to take this corner, and we're going to fold it up to here, so it looks like this. And then you're going to take the whole thing, and you're just going to fold it over like so. So now that we have that, and we hold it in place, we're going to take another alligator clip and clip it here. And then I'm just going to shift this one over to the top so everything's on top. So now we're going to do the same thing on this side. So my print piece is twisted. There we go. So we're going to fold our corner. Maybe not. Why are you being a pain in the butt? There we go. Okay. So now we're going to fold our corner down. Like this. And then we're going to bring this end up. And my left hand never wants to work properly. So we're going to hold that there. We're going to fold up. And then we're going to fold over. That was a bit of an awkward movement for me. Then we're going to shift. And then we're going to clip here. So now we have this. And you're going to do that, and we're going to do that for the other one as well. So now, on this piece, we're also going to need our needle with upholstery thread on it. So you're going to take this piece right here, and you're just going to kind of make it so that it looks like this, and it's folded down right over the top. So then we're going to take our needle, and we're going to come through those and that right there on the end. And then I just pull it all the way through. And then we are going to do six total stitches. 
And I like my three clips like this because it's so easy. So you go on the side of the one clip. And then we're going to come to here where they meet up. My finger got caught. Like that. And then it, I, it's a little tricky for you to see on camera. But where the other two ends meet up, that's where we're going to come up on the other side of this clip. And then we're going to go right there on that side of the clip. And then our last stitch is coming up from the bottom. And we're going to do the same thing on this side as we did the other side. We're going to get it set up and then lay it down. So it's like that. And then we're going to come from behind now and go through all of that like so. Then we pull it through, pull our clips, and then we cinch everything down. It's going to look a little bit funky at first, but we grab all of our layers. We're going to line everything up and hold it nice and tight. And then we're going to put, take our needle and go back through all the layers. I use my board so I don't poke my needle through my finger. Pull it tight, and then I'm just going to tie it off right back here in the back. Like that. So now it kind of looks all funky like this, but then you just kind of give it a little fluffing, a little primping. And we're going to primp it again because we're going to manipulate it when we go to wrap our center around anyway. So there's one side. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So put our clip in the middle. So we're going to fold down. And then come up to the corner. So we have this. And then we're going to fold it over. I'm going to take our clip. And we're going to put it right here. And we're going to shift that one over. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. We're going to come down. And then we're going to come up. And then we're going to fold over. Shift that clip. Make sure all your edges are in and lined up along this way. That'll make everything so much better. And then we put our third clip on, like that. I'm just going to move that one over. So we have this. So we grab our thread, needle and thread. We're going to push that down. So we're like that. Come through and through. And then we're going to go, well, that was one. This is two. Three. four, five, and then six will be the last one coming up from the bottom. And we're going to get this side all set up and laid down. And through and through. And then we can pull our clips. Cinch it tight. And then we go through all the layers, pull it tight, and then we're just going to tie it off in the back. Like that. Just give it a little primping. And then this step here is not the necessary one, but I just like to do it. Is I will take my wood burner and I will 
just flatten this part off and then I push it down on my board. I feel it gives me like a flat spot and something for the glue to adhere to. So now that we have that, we're just going to glue the two sides together. And I'm going to sit here and I'm going to hold these momentarily. Now I've done this where I haven't held them long enough and they ended up popping apart because I didn't give them enough pressure holding them together. So while I'm holding these together for just a minute or two, I'm going to take the opportunity to ask you guys to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit that little bell notification. It'll let you know every time I upload. I am not your most regimented uploader. So I, you, if you hit the bell, you'll get a notification when I do upload. It could be on a Monday, a Wednesday, a Friday, a Saturday. I might go a week without uploading. Which most of you, if you're returning, I have went through a little slump, so... Please hit that bell and don't forget to hit the thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'm just kind of manipulating it now because it's nice and set and ready to go. So yes, please hit that and I will leave a link to my Facebook group. We have an amazing group of people in there. Um, always willing to help out fellow crafters. That's what our group is all about. It is just about helping. So please come and join. I don't just do bows. I have all kinds of craft stuff. Um, I have some Tumblr videos up on my channel. If you haven't checked those out, please do. Now I'm just doing my center wrap, so if you're returning, then you know, but I like to wrap my centers twice. I think it gives them a sturdy center. It's a personal thing. You can wrap them once, three times, however much you want. That is all up to you. This is how I like to do it. So there's that. And then I am going to take these and I'm going to spray them so that they hold their shape and they don't get squished in my storage bins getting ready for my next show. So I just like to twist it and get it all like lined up and everything else. So I'm going to spray them and I know a lot of you asked this question so I'm going to go ahead and show you what I spray with. This is what I use to stiffen my bows. I like it. It's um, It holds them stiff. And it has a really great smell. It's hairspray. And um, it doesn't take very long for it to dry. Like regular hairspray. I've had to sit there and let it sit for a, a quite a bit of time. Before I could go back and hit it again. Or before it was even ready. This one... Most of the time, it's one spray and done. Sometimes I'll hit it twice if I think it needs a little bit more stability, depending on the style of bow. But this is the stuff I use to spray my bows when I say I'm going to spray them and then get them ready. So again, hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and I hope you did. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And keep an eye out for more. I will also be posting a, one, a video for this bow using 3 inch ribbon. Which that one comes out super, super cute and super awesome as well if you like the really big ones. I kind of love these piggy sets. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I think that's it. Links in the description below. And as always, happy crafting!